Like promised in my advanced serverless video, today we're taking a look at maintenance. A plugin which allows you to put your Minecraft server in maintenance mode. Now, as soon as your server is in maintenance, no player is able to join anymore. Except for your staff team, of course. There will also be a message displayed in the server list telling players that your server is in maintenance and for how long it will be inaccessible. It is really cool. And today, I'm going to show you how it all works. Do make sure to double check if you're subscribed right to my channel the next big milestone is the 100k and every single time one of you click subscribe we get one little step closer maintenance is a minecraft plugin made by kenny tv one of paper mc's core developers not as in plugin developers this guy makes the actual servers and he also has a minecraft plugin called maintenance it is 100 free you can download it from paper mc's own plugin distribution website hangar link can be found down below simply click on download and choose whatever version you want to download it for it is available for paper waterfall and velocity in other words all of the paper mc server types then you want to drag the jar file into your plugins folder and reboot your minecraft server now after that we're ready to go now this plugin does not require advanced server list the reason i mentioned this plugin in that advanced server list video is because they do work very well together so if you are using advanced server list you do have some additional settings inside of that config though it is not required and it works perfectly fine even without so the main command of this plugin is slash maintenance and by typing simply maintenance on you will enable maintenance mode now what does that mean well when i turn it on right now and i exit the server this is the message you will see in the server list currently under maintenance we will be back soon with a big maintenance message over here and that is it so a regular player would be unable to join this server now of course as an op we can and if you're using look perms you can also give certain groups permission to join the server anyway so think of your admins your developers and maybe your mods now while maintenance mode is on there is a lot more we can customize for example something that we can do is send an end timer so when i do slash maintenance end timer and after that i put in a time in minutes for example five when i then press enter there is now gonna be a five minute end timer now what does that mean it means the maintenance mode will now be deactivated in five minutes and players outside of the server can also see that so this is what it looks like when you have a timer currently under maintenance come back in four minutes and 41 seconds every single time we reload the count will go down and eventually when the count hits zero maintenance automatically deactivates and people will be able to join your server again so that is super convenient now when we turn maintenance off just like that we can also set a start timer so a start timer is kind of the opposite it will count down and as soon as the timer hits zero maintenance mode will be activated so let's set this to a minute for example let's press enter and there we go maintenance mode will be enabled in a single minute now like you can see outside of the server currently we see nothing here it all looks normal like nothing is going on but inside of the server players will see messages like these maintenance mode will enable in 30 seconds maintenance mode will enable in 20 seconds and it is essentially counting down and everybody that is online as soon as it hits zero will get kicked and then maintenance mode is officially active two one and there we go maintenance mode is now activated outside of the server this is what it will look like and players are no longer able to join so like i mentioned before if you're using a permissions plugin like for example lookworms there is a certain permission you can add to for example your developer groups to make sure they can still join the server something else you can do though is add players to the maintenance whitelist now this is not your regular minecraft whitelist it is a special type of whitelist that this plugin adds so to add players to that whitelist, all we want to do is type a maintenance, add, and after that, a player name. So for example, Kasesora, and when I then press enter, there we go. Added Kasesora to the maintenance whitelist. Meaning that even if I'm now not an OP, even if I'm not inside of a special group, I will still be able to join the server. Now, if you type slash maintenance whitelist, you will get a list with every single player that is currently whitelisted. You can see right now, it's just me. Now this whitelist, just like a regular whitelist, also saves your UUID. So even if I would change my player name, 
name, I would still be whitelisted because it has my UUID, which will never change. Now you might be wondering by now, Kasasura, what is that amazing permission that you can add to players so they can still join the server during maintenance? Well, it is this one, maintenance.bypass. This permission you can give to your admin groups, your mod groups, your developer groups, of course, to make sure they can still join the server. Now, I would highly recommend doing this because otherwise it's just going to be a giant hassle to add all of your staff members to that maintenance whitelist. The maintenance whitelist should pretty much only be used if a certain player needs to join the server to check something out or do something for you and they are not an admin or a mod or a dev. If they are in any of those groups, they should be able to bypass maintenance by default and this is the permission that allows that. Now for those running a server network, like Velocity or Bungie Court, there are some additional features. So with this command, you can for example enable maintenance on only a specific server. Just do a slash maintenance on or off and then the server name. Now the server name is the name of your server, like you set it inside of the Velocity or Bungie Court config file. And when you do that, then only maintenance mode will be enabled for a singular server, not the entire network. Now you can also link multiple proxy instances with a MySQL database. So what does that mean? Well, very big Minecraft servers have multiple proxies. If all the players, like for example on a server like Hypixel, would have to go through a single proxy, so to just give an example, a single Velocity instance, I mean the Velocity instance would not be able to handle that. So instead, Hypixel and many other Minecraft servers have a crazy ton of proxies, and you can all link them together, and when you then enable maintenance mode, then all the proxies will be switched to maintenance mode at once. Super handy. Now it also says if you want to have placeholder API support on paper, you can get this maintenance add-on. Now the timer I showed earlier is just included with this plugin. You don't need placeholder API for that at all. But let's say you do want to use some of the placeholder API placeholders inside of your maintenance message, then you can do that with this add on. Now let's take a quick look at the config because of course there is more to customize there. Head to the maintenance folder which is inside of the plugins folder which on its turn is inside of your Minecraft server directory. Now inside of the maintenance folder there will be the player whitelist, a language file which when you open that one you can just change all the messages it will send in game. So you can change the prefix, you can change the way it says stuff, just all the feedback that the plugin gives in game you can edit over here. So in case you want your own server prefix here, or you want to have everything a different color because it fits better with your server style, then you can totally change that. It might be something that you want to do because this plugin will announce when a maintenance is starting. So it's pretty nice that we're able to customize this message. But then the most important place to be is of course the config.yml file. And this is where we can change the maintenance message. So over here for me at line 21, we got the message that you will see as soon as maintenance mode is enabled. Currently under maintenance, we will be back soon. Now you can of course completely customize this message. This entire config file supports mini message, which for those who don't know means that you can use all of the Minecraft colors, you can use hex colors, and you can even use gradients. If you want to see me make an entire video on mini message and how it all works, definitely let me know in the comments down below and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. You can change the color to, for example, blue. We can also change the gradient. So let's go from gold. Let's do purple. From gold to purple. Why not? There we go. <laughs> now then here on line 34, we got the timer message, essentially. So as soon as you set an end timer, while maintenance mode is active, then the timer is shown inside of the server list. Now that message you can, of course, make completely different from the default one when you just enable maintenance mode and don't set an end timer at all. So you can just customize it to the way you like. Now here we got the player count message. So that is also something you can change. Let's change it to yellow, <laughs> because why not? And then there's also a player count hover message, which will appear when you hover the actual player count. Now a bit further down, we also got the timer broadcast for seconds. So essentially, when will maintenance send a message in game to your active players to warn them that maintenance mode is going to be enabled in a little little bit. So now it will do that one second, two seconds, three seconds, four, five, before maintenance mode will actually be enabled. Now you can add more to here. If you want a countdown from 10, you can just add a nine here and then eight. Okay. 
okay, there we go. <laughs> so now from one to 10, it will just count down. If you don't want any countdown or not that much, you can remove stuff from here. And that is gonna be it for today. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Do double check if you're subscribed to my channel as such a big part of you guys is still not, though you would help me out so much if you did. Also, don't forget to join my Discord server if you're not in there yet. Link can be found down below. And thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support. Thank you for helping me out and keeping this channel going. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!